too late. Annie held on her magnolia flower to the dinosaur. I'm sorry, I made you. You're worrying about your babies," she said. The dinosaur moved closer to Annie. She grabbed the flower from her. She reached for another. No more," said Annie. The dinosaur let out a set to bust down. But there are more flowers up there," Annie said. She pointed to the top of the hill. "I'll get you some," Annie hur- hurried up the hill. The dinosaur waddled after her. Jack clicked. Jack quickly examined the babies. Some were cr- crawling out of their nests. Where were the other mothers? Jack took out the dinosaur book. He flipped through the pages. He found a picture of some duck-billed dinosaurs. He read the caption: "The anasaur uses live in colonies, while a few mothers' babies set the nest. Others hunted for food, so there must be." More mothers close by. Hey, Jack! Annie called. Jack looked up. Annie was at the top of the hill, he, feeding magnolia flowers to, to the giant anasaurs. She's nice too, Jack. Annie said. But suddenly, the anasaurs made her terrible to bad sound. Annie cr- crouched down. The, Annie crouched down and started to chew. The dinosaur barged down the hill. She's mean, afraid of something. Jack put the book down on top of his pack. He hurried up to Annie. I wonder why she's ran away," said Annie. "We were st- starting to be friends." Jack looked around. What he saw in the distance almost made him throw up. An enor- an enormous ugly monster was coming across the plain. He was walking on two big legs and was swinging a long, thick tail, and dangling two tiny arms. And he held a huge head, and his jaws were wide open, even from far away. Jack could could see a long, gleaming teeth. Try no sore rags," whispered Jack.